He was a Liverpool lad, a legendary musician and a campaigner for peace. And in this city where he grew up, his son Julian and first wife Cynthia today unveiled a sculpture honouring John Lennon. There was a Liverpool choir using sign language, fans of course, and his family remembering the man that they all loved. We come here with our hearts to say to honour Dad and to pray for peace and say thank you to each and every one of you and everybody involved in the celebrations today. No one knows what the septuagenarian would have made of this occasion, but it was inevitably tinged with sadness. Think about his life that was positive and good and, and just enjoy that. Don't be morbid, enjoy the joy that he had and that we all have from their music. Cynthia Lennon said this wasn't a day to mourn John Lennon, rather one to celebrate his legacy and his message of peace. John Lennon was an activist. He gained worldwide fame with the Beatles and campaigned against war through music and art. He would have been uh, very angry about the, the situation that's going around in the world now and probably started to become an activist again. In many different countries, there are more events planned, celebrating John Lennon's life, his music too, and his message to give peace a chance. Lorna Gordon, BBC News, Liverpool.